Now, how has this career as a band affected both your personal lives and how has it affected you as a group? Well, it's made me tremendously wealthy, um, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I haven't let that um, get to me yet. Uh, I'm still pretty much the same person as uh, I was back when, uh, when I wasn't as wealthy. It's easier to write on comfy pillows. Pat mattresses. And as a group, how has it affected you? Well, I can tell you being a student, it's really hard because we're, <laughs> we're trying to play gigs and while I'm having finals and some nights I'll get back from a gig and stay up and take a final in the morning and it's kind of ridiculous. Nobody should ever have to do that, but I'm hoping, hoping that it's going to be worthwhile. Okay. And if it's not worthwhile, at least you had fun it while doesn't it matter. <laughs> it is worthwhile. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's not worthwhile because that's why we do it, because we torture ourselves. Musicians are masochists underneath, no matter what they say, yes, we are. and we're going to survive. <laughs> okay, who writes the songs in your music? You know what? Right now, since, yeah. since Josh is the new guy, he hasn't written any actual songs. He certainly added some parts that, that made our new record complete. It really changed and, and completed what we were doing, because he wasn't even in the band when we started the new record. And he came in at the last minute and knocked, you know, knocked the rest of the album out of the park, which was great. Um, Joe joined later, so right now the balance is on me. I've written most of the songs. Frank has co-written. Yeah, I write mostly music. So. Yeah, he, he's written a lot of our most popular and absolutely best songs. And one of the songs I know we're doing today is is one that you wrote the guitar part for and I wrote the bass for, which, which is, is how it usually goes. Actually. Yeah, and which is which is really good. And then you know everybody else adds what they do, and it becomes what it is. I think that's outstanding that you both not only sing it, but you also write it and compose it. That's really cool. Now, how often do you travel? Depends on how fast that's the road is going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, and, and where do you generally travel most? Do you do mostly Atlanta, Athens, or? You know what? We stick around our, our base of Athens pretty much right now. We've, we've Everywhere regionally, we, we had a nice little area in Chattanooga, just that whole Tennessee, that side of Tennessee, where we were getting a lot of airplay in specific. And the weird thing is we can't travel to the places that are playing us the most. Because our first album is actually, you won't really hear it on the radio in America too much, but it's played around the world, which is really cool that you could do that in 2008. We're huge in Petchewala. Yeah, exactly. And it's a shame that we can't go there. I mean, you've got history. We don't even know where it is. But, um, not me. So, but yeah, this is our area, and right now we're doing this, and please find us, and come to see us. We'll set up a residency like they do in Vegas at, at the Coliseum or something. <laughs> Except we'll do it like at Little Kings in Athens or something. And we'll play anywhere, anytime. Just let us know. Okay. Just rent us a helicopter to get us there. <laughs> where do most of the performances take place? In the places that we can get to, such as, um, what we, the other night we played a really cool show in Atlanta, which the other guys didn't even come out for, where Joe and I just went up with acoustic guitars and basically took challenges, which was really strange. It was a great invitation from a friend of ours, and it was a, like a vine, or, or, or just, what, is, what was the place? It was like a restaurant. It was called uh, Ven uh, Venocity in if, Atlanta. Can you say that? You probably can't say Venocity. it. Venocity. And anyway. uh, we, uh, basically it was cool because it was a round robin thing, and uh, uh, we played a couple of the songs that uh, we, we both co-wrote on the album. Uh, the album, by the way, is a Satisfaction Easter. That's the title of it. That's Satisfaction Easter. And uh, uh, so that was a lot of fun, but it was great because, you know, as songwriters, we got to kind of show, show what we can do. And uh, the, the stuff that's on the album translated really well into the acoustic format. And so that's always so much fun. So it was really neat. And there were challenges. I mean, seriously, I'm not kidding you. They were like, okay, what's the most depressing song you can sing? This is not a joke. The guy that was one of the guests sang a song about a seven-year-old getting killed in a plane crash. Oh, wow. So I was like, okay, let's, okay, yeah. now how do we top that? Um, I, and I, I got to tell you the truth, there's a debate on whether this guy won the contest or whether I did. So I'm not going to claim victory, <laughs> but I know Joe lost. It was close. Okay, well, um, what songs are you performing today for us? Uh, have we even decided for sure? What do you think? I don't even think it's been discussed. Um, the only <laughs> way we should do. What do you think? Yeah. I think Violet likes that one. Yeah, that's one of my personal favorites. Cool. So that's that's a good enough start. You need to know what else we're doing? Um, sure, you can go ahead and tell us now, or we can wait until you start, and you can introduce the song then. You want to do yours? Man, what you got? I personally played on Saturday on the album, um, awesome. which I'm very proud of, so sure. we should 
Play Saturday. Play Saturday. That's the one that that's what, that I was talking about. The Frank wrote the guitar part for, and I wrote the bass line for. And then we'll do one for Joe. How about we'll do Ray John? Ray John. It's a good song. Uh, Chris and I co-wrote it, and hope you enjoy it. Oh yeah, that's right. How about Happy Here and Now to finish off? Cool. Happy that one's up to Josh. That one's cool. The drums are really hard. I didn't actually play them on the album, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But he's going to actually play them today. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see how this goes. All right, cool. Those are the four. All right, great. Sounds good. Why don't you guys take it away then?